he's not that that is unfortunate would have been a lot nicer if he was ah finally of course finally the sleep powder does take effect uh, do I want to focus everyone in Septimus first, or do I want to get rid of everyone else first? I kind of think getting rid of everyone else first should take priority. Okay. Blood Nova. Looks cool. Kills Anadine, that's less cool. Katya is just literally going to quickly finish him off. Okay. Right. I think we're going to have to use a normal heal on Kyrie, Even if she stays asleep because of it. I'm bring Kalima over here. That hurts. Wait, why does he get two attacks? What the hell? That's unfair. Okay. Oh, it removes her sleep. That's something. Does she get to counterattack twice? Because I highly doubt it. That is very unfair to Aradin. I mean, just out of curiosity. How much? 126. Right, how much... On one of these guys. About a whirling blow, 78. Spread pain? Hmm. 72, 72. 82 with a normal attack. 78. Right. They're positioned in a good enough way so that I can't really do much about them. Is it worth it to attack? It's not worth it. And I can't heal Kyrie. This is all just not going very well, is it? I mean, Aradin's having a great time. Never mind, he's not having a great time at all. That's it. Do you mind? Uh, which has he got left? Okay, she's killed him at least. That's something positive. Don't kill Kyrie. I said don't. I mean, he didn't, but 34 health, it's not great. Sure, use a heavy potion. Wait, can she move to somewhere where she can't get backstabbed? Yes. Of course. Don't attack Kalima. Okay. That is not great, but it's something I should be able to potentially survive. I heal Aradin with Kalima. Now it depends on what Septimus does. Well, that's not ideal. Okay. Kyrie will be able to counterattack. Do a decent chunk. She can't assassinate. She only does 60 damage. So, 
Phoenix Ashes. Bring back Anadine, actually. That is not ideally who I'd want to bring back, but it's the person who gets the turn the next and who is actually going to survive it. Just about, but she will. Now, I can use her to get oh, 65%, please. Yes, thank you, Anadine. That could have ended badly. And she can attack the vampire as well, maybe? How much? Almost enough. Corrupted blade. That is enough. She takes a whole 7 damage for it. And she is still alive. Barely. Wait, why have... Why do three of them have a turn still? I can only see two of them. That's one, that's two. Where's the third one? Those. F and R. Okay, he just gets a turn again. That quickly. Okay, is it worth it to try and put a potion that heals for just 100 into anodine right now I don't think I can do enough damage no he's crippled so he definitely I mean see how much I do but he definitely doesn't do and I almost doesn't have but 78% hit rate as well is so ah oh, okay you know what I'll do Shivel. Oh, I can't protect. Forgot. Uh... Oh. Anadine won't survive it even with 100 health more. That's the biggest problem. <laughs> Deals. One times mind damage and transfers all of the characters' debuffs to the target. It's worth a go, isn't it? No, it's not worth a go at all. Never mind. What do I do? When's the Phoenix Ashes coming back? All the way back there. I feel like I have to do this. Although that might be worth it too. Okay, let's try this. Oh, great. Hey. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's gonna be another attack. I'm gonna get counterattacked. K slice just fifty nine. Yep, yeah, weaken is fine. Teleports away. Now Katya. I need to... Oh, 48%. Are you serious? Uh, not 48, 78. What if... Oh, I can just throw a rock, can't I? That easy. No, Kyrie. Shit. Okay. 8%. That, come on. Yes, good. Still alive. Just barely, but we're still alive. Move here. Maybe not, don't move quite there. Move here. When would... Oh, 
after it's after Septimus gets his turn. That's suboptimal. I'm gonna need to heal Kairi right now. I hope I don't. I really hope I don't. How much damage would I do? 87. Give it a try. Oh, I absolutely do need to heal Kairi now. Or do I? Probably do. But will healing Kairi. Can, can I even heal her? I can't even reach her. No mind. Pick off. Uh, for each adjacent ally the target has. Okay. Not a problem. 96. Go on and assassinate him. Aradin will be able to kill him off. What are you gonna do? Chaos Slice? Minus Mind. No one cares. Right, kill him. Good. I think we're good. Still afterwards. Okay, take a potion. Don't stand in a way that he can hit multiple. Right, you take a potion too. And you can just stay there. The K slice. Weaken. It's fine. It's gonna teleport away. Use a remedy. Wait, before you use a remedy. Still afterwards. You know what? We'll bring Kalima back right now. We'll move over here. Aradin. What will Aradin do? What do you do? He will use Chivalry Spirit to grant rebirth to himself. It's an emergency strat strategy. If something goes drastically wrong... Please don't do enough. Ah, shit. Ah, uh, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Okay, now we're in time pressure. It's under a lot of time pressure. Raffle blow, it is 255. I think I just need to get out as much damage as I somehow can. Just assassinate dude. 135. Might poison him. Go on. Right, move to over here. Aradin. How much would you do? 59 and 85. Okay. I've got one potion left. I think Kyrie can withstand an attack if she's got over 100 health, so I want to use that. I'm gonna blood over both of them. But Aradin's fine. Oh, she, she can't. She can't! Mmm. Yeah. I forgot. I forgot as well that Kyrie can't die in this. That would have been an important thing to pay attention to. Alright, you know what? We'll try. We'll try again, but we'll actually do the proper ability learning first this time. Be smart casting. What class is he? She learned? The gadget here, okay. No one cares. Right. I mean, I guess you can learn. We can. When you've mastered the gambler class, and you can change class to something else. 
I don't know what. I mean, he could become a werewolf, you know? Why not? For that, he needs to become a mercenary first. I mean, he's almost there. Uh, Katya. Sure, smart casting too. She can also become a fell blade now. Zaro. Rage. Whatever. Virgil? Mind expert. Very useful. Give some quite a decent boost there. Lena. Can learn boon. And Ryan I can learn more stuff in a gunner class. Opportunistic bullet. Doesn't really matter what he learns. Alright, and we can craft some gear. I mean, we could. I don't really want to. Although a blood axe does sound cool, but no. How was it that? I didn't see it even with an exclamation mark. Oh, there, the jet boots. Okay. Okay. I guess we'll try again now that we know how we should approach it tactically, but I'll be right back. Alright. Alright, if you fail once, try again. Yeah, like... yeah, 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 skip the scores. skip the story. I do, I do still feel that the strategy at the start... Actually, maybe... These aren't annoying units. These are annoying units. Maybe I should focus on the assassins first. That makes sense, I think. Bring Virgil. Bring Aradin. Bring Anadine. Bring Katya. And I guess we're bringing... Although we could bring Yates. You know what, we'll bring Yates. Alright, Katya is first to move. Uh, how much MP does she start with? 10. Alright, we'll just start... doing damage over there. Sure, you heal yourself, I don't care. Mm. Not ideal, but Virgil is probably the one I can most live with being asleep. Mm. Move over here. Could lay a trap. Can't lay a trap. Mm. Sure. Just attack. Spell powder. What does that do again? I mean, nothing to Anadine, apparently. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ancient power. Hmm. 128. How much does she do normally? 80. Probably worth it, to be honest. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's coming over here. Also probably worth it. I know I'm doing a lot of damage to the one character that needs to survive this, but we can deal with this. 
Don't get enraged. Then we really can't deal with this. Okay, Anadine, just go down there and, and enjoy these lots. Huh? 91% accuracy, very nice. And... Well, what can you do? I guess you can throw a rock, right? Yep. Remove you from here real quick. You can't reach. You will be able to reach, but you can't do much damage. 81, okay. Anadine is fine with that. Anadine is not really fine with that. I mean, it's one down. Hmm. Hi, Septimus. Does he just come after the second kill? I think he does, and this time it was him that replied, because essentially he should always be the one to reply, but last time he was already dead, so he didn't. Right, you can heal yourself. Give it a try. If I care. 28, he'll have his turn immediately afterwards. Can't assassinate him. Doesn't really do much in terms of uh, accuracy wise. They all don't really do too good. So we'll assassinate you instead. Make sure you don't get your turn. Okay. That could have been worse. And it ensures that Virgil now actually gets his turn. Um, use any locus really. You do just enough damage. Very nice. And we can use Kyrie to do a lot of damage. Seventy-three. That's not a lot of damage, to be honest. Seventy-six. Hmm. Hmm. Honestly, I'm just gonna heal Anadine. It's probably not the smartest decision, but if Anadine stays alive for one uh okay please don't kill yates okay he's gonna kill yates yep okay that sucks going bullet on virgil okay anadine She can't use that. She can do a sort of an okay hit rate. A bit of damage. She could attack him. When would Yates get his turn if a Phoenix Ash him right now? In about two years. Just attack this vampire, please. Right. Mm, 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 mm. Can you even reach? No, you can't reach down there. Okay. Heavy hit? 75. Defensive hit? 95. Missed. Huh. Eighty-two blinds. Okay. Not attack. Go. Six seventy-three. Right. We'll deal with him. 
Okay, rip Virgil. Out of curiosity, you have 228 health. Sixty-five percent. That's such a if it misses we're screwed situation. Good. We're not screwed. Oh, you can actually move that far, huh? Hmm. You might be screwed anyway. That's really not good. She survives that. There's still two other units that get their turn. She won't reach. Not possible. But the gunner is still dangerous over there. If the gunner attacks Kyrie, we've lost the mission. He does. She's dead. Well, this time it was over quickly at least. God damn it. Right back in. Do I actually need to redo all of this in a troops menu? No, it actually saved that. That's nice. Do I want to just shop and put better things on someone? I mean, I've still got 37k. I might as well, right? Does Kyrie want something? I mean, she's already kind of got the best stuff. Maybe something better than a shining band? It's the sapphire. I mean, the sapphire earring removes a lot of statuses, but none of them are really bothering me. They're all fine. An oath band might be worth something. You know what? Put that on her, sure. Is anything better than that? No, absolutely not. Those things are all trash. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm gonna take Zaro instead of Virgil because Virgil has just not been very useful. Natural weapon. Zaro is also just not very tanky, it looks like. Although it's not bad. Honestly, I actually think I might take Yates and a healer instead. Is there anything I can do for Aridan? I don't think so. Yay, it's you already have a gold staff. Instead of a flowing robe, how would you like a devout robe? Hmm. It's fine. Okay. And for Anadine. Sure, we'll give her the energy scythe. Although, would I rather give her faux shard? She doesn't use mind, I think. But we'll give her faux shard. She can wear Morion. Alright. We'll go with that. <laughs> We'll try it one more time. I mean, it's clearly doable. I've just gotten a bit unlucky and also made some poor decisions. I'm still not sure what the best course of action is actually, who to attack first. Like, these are really annoying, but so are they. Everyone's super annoying. Well, we'll take... Good. I think this is the shortest path. So we'll put Arid in here. We'll put Anadine here. We will put... Kalima here. We'll put Yates here. We'll put Katya here. Right, we'll move Katya over here. How much would you do to that vampire actually? 54. You get another turn of attacking the vampire. Where she could pick it off. Maybe we could actually get rid of that one immediately. Although it's not a particularly bad threat, but it probably wouldn't hurt. 
I think the most annoying part about all of this is how how many turns they all get. How long this takes. The beginning where not a lot happens. Right, now Anadin's blind. Pick up. 86, okay. Vampire's still alive, but not with a lot of health anymore. Eighty three damage to cut, yeah. Yeah. Missed the counter attack. Ah, Yates of all people, okay. Hundred and sixty five, are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Perry. Raffle blow 174, comparatively something like that, 73, and normal attack does 109. Oh, is it worth it? We've got two healers now, it has to be worth it. Well, damage for a counter attack, okay. Still hits Kairi. But it would actually remove that guy if it hits. You know what? Screw it. Get rid of one assassin. We'll move him down here. And we'll go with Kalima. And we'll use Holy Magic Heal 2 and we'll heal Yates. Harry's still got more than enough health at the moment. Sure, we'll need to heal her sooner or later, but not just yet. Anadine. Can you hit anyone? 41%. The answer to that is probably not. What we can do instead is use you to give out potions. Aridon, on the other hand. Can't reach anyone from these people. So he might as well go over here. And do a heavy hit. We'll see. If he's gonna be fine. He can't reach, that's why he's using mass haste. The other one probably can't reach either, but he's close. Okay, he can sleep powder. Please don't activate. Okay. On Yates. Is he just gonna die? He is just gonna die, isn't he? No, he actually survives, but he's not asleep anymore. That is nice. Can't kill by I can kill with the pickoff. The more important part for me though is Will he reach Yates and kill him? He probably will, but I would honestly rather just get rid of that unit first. If the werewolf decides to kill Yates, then so be it. Although actually, if I move Katya here, then he shouldn't be able to reach. Yep, there's Septimus. Do your spiel and let's get on with this. I've seen it three times. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Oh, that is interesting. Let me... Wait, how much health does he have? Uh, let me get behind him, of course. Uh, 
121 I would do to him is not bad. It means I should be able to finish him off. Now, the A to use a heal on Kyrie, he should heal himself for a decent amount. Wait, does he not have that? Oh, he doesn't have that class anymore. Ugh. Okay. Kalima. Peel Yates. She's in a pretty dangerous position. The gunner won't be able to reach. Oh, he will be able to reach her. But only does 29 damage. So no one cares. He will, though. 44 doesn't do enough. She's alive. Barely, but she's alive. Yep, I calculated that in my head. Nope. Yep, she's alive. That's all that counts. What's the hit rate? 41%. She's never gonna hit. Hey, Kalima. Um, you want a potion? I've got one. Aradin. Why is he all the way over there? Can he kill the werewolf? Two very interesting questions. No, not even close. 68. Would, would she then be able to kill it? Or is it... Would I do anything else? I mean, Chivalrous Spirit on him seems pretty worthless at the moment. He's not died yet. In any of my attempts. Gonna attack Aradin. He's gonna take 37 damage. Fifty-one, fifty-one, she's alive. No, she's not alive. That did a hundred oh, the exact amount. That and Yates is dead too. Ah, oh, I hate this chapter so much. Okay. Right. She doesn't have enough MP for that. And she's crippled, so she can't be lethal. Cool. We can't kill him. You stupid assassin. Can't kill you either. Wait, Yates is still alive, I didn't realize. Why well, he's gonna die soon enough. Okay. Hundred and eight, sure. Huh. Dead. Not that yet. Almost dead. Now dead. No? Gonna attack Anadine? Okay. Right. What do I do with Kyrie? Does it even really matter? She's crippled. She can't use anything. That's worthwhile. Fuck it. We'll get rid of that unit. I mean, the chapter's not over. We've still got a chance to win this. I mean, Katya's dead, obviously, but it's not over. Just almost. She's no longer blind, but she obviously she can't use rage. MP. Who cares about MP? He's got a magic shield. Fuck. This time he gets randomly generated with a magic shield, because of course he does, and that doesn't kill. But with Aridin, he can throw a rock. It will kill. That activates Mirage, and it won't kill. Ah, oh, this chapter. This goddamn chapter. No one's going to spawn in at a good place. Doesn't matter. Throw a damn rock.
What are you gonna do? Stunning strike on Aradin, he doesn't give a shit. You're gonna attack Anadine twice, she's gonna survive and she's gonna counterattack and you're dead. But she will dive with the next assassin. There we go, Anadine's dead. Septimus is gonna come over and be like, hey, want some damage, I've got a Blood Nova for you. And Ar Aradin's gonna be like, yay, sure. Werewolf is gonna Chaos Slice, he's gonna do Ripple because how would you do anything else? Harry? I'm gonna revive Kalima. Start off with her. And we're gonna move over here. We'll start off with Kalima by using heal 2 on Kairi. That way both of them should survive for a bit. He'll survive that. He won't survive the assassin if he gets towards him. No, the assassin will choose Kalima. He'll do a shitload of damage, but won't kill her. Right, this dude. Can't really do anything even with him. Phoenix Ashes. No one gets their turn anytime soon. I can't even throw a rock at him. Screw it then. Just hit him. He's gonna attack Kalima now and she's dead. No, he's not. Oh, he's gonna kill... Er oh, how, how does he have so little HP? How did that happen? Well, now he's dead. Go on, regenerate. I mean, I have to kill him. Oh, he's got a miss. Fuck it. It's lost. There's no point in me doing anything. Got a mystic shield. This is also pointless. Wait, what if she moves here? That reach? No. But she should just be where she's literally where she's standing should be fine. Yes. A raffle burst be any different? Not really. Alright, do it. Yeah, he's gonna attack Harry. Interesting choice. Not that it changes anything really, she can't survive that long. No matter what she does. He can't reach, which is a good thing, but he's just gonna kill... Oh, he's not killing actually. With that. He'll barely do any damage. But now, Lima's dead. 129. Power strike. He might actually, I mean, minus attack. Probably won't kill with the counter attack then. No, of course not. He'll be dead with the counter attack. What's the point? I will drag it out now. Use a heavy potion. Okay. Werewolf is gonna chaos slice. It's sleep! Sleep! Of course it's sleep now. What else would it be? 
Black Blade. Oh, she's now not asleep anymore. She's just blind. That's great. We'll actually survive that. She'll counterattack and she'll miss. Okay. None of them are going to survive. Is there any hope in doing that? Does it do anything? Not really. I can use a potion on her. He's just going to shoot an opportunistic bullet. Then the werewolf's going to attack and Kairi's going to be dead. And... Dead. All right. Well, we're going to end it here today. I'm too frustrated by this to continue. I don't know. I might just play a couple of patrol missions, maybe level up a bit. I don't know. Do something else before I do this again. I hope you enjoyed watching the video nonetheless. Thanks for doing so, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.